What's up, everyone? Welcome to another installment of the Q and A. Um, I guess this could be in its own category since I've been thinking about it, but it's up to you guys and out to my schedule. Uh, let's get right to it, I guess. But before I actually really do get right to it, even though I already said I would, uh, there's a few things I want to cover, but that'd be after. First one is from Green. It's from Raiden. Uh, I don't even think that's even a name, but the initials are G R N. He asked Rikishi and Too Cool, "What happened?" Well, it's pretty simple. They went their separate ways. Rikishi is doing his own thing. If you don't know what it is, it's, check it out on his official Facebook page, which you can find through our featured pages, which is which Facebook refers to as featured likes, and look for his picture. Again, as I told a fan already, we do not, or should I say I do not, allow fake pages within that area, because I know fans look in that area for actual pages to their favorite wrestlers or whatever. But as for Scotty and the other and the other guy, um, Grandmaster Sexy, not really sure. Haven't heard what what they've been up to. Um, yeah, just do that. Um, next one is from well, a fellow page that I sometimes share on an occasional basis. Yes. Well, I'll show you. Okay, I, I can't really see that on the screen, so I guess I'll just answer it. Not really. Whoops. Sorry, dude. He says, figures, mate. I just asked. Oh. That's embarrassing. If I knew, if I could edit this, I would. Michael Flores asks, what do you think of Austin Aries being world champ? And how long do you think he will last as a world champ? Well, it's actually a good change for one because I'm, I don't have anything against Robert Roode. We could just use a champion that's not in the weight requirement and that's actually breaking grounds that no other X Division wrestler has been able to do since TNA pretty much made it put itself on the map. Um. And that's not thanks to Hogan, so to hell with him for screwing up the company. Um, as far as long, for as far as how long he will last, I feel well. According to the news that we've been posting, not long, probably, most likely. But I do have faith in him. He, it's up, but it's actually up to the creative and what they have in store but as far as my opinion maybe a few months maybe longer depends on what the creative wants to do next one is from well CJ Goad he says which one WWE ROH or TNA TNA I can't I can't watch ROH I'm kinda tired of watching the same old thing with WWE so, TNA, even this, uh, excluding Hulk. Next one is from a fan page named JH, the Extreme Enigma. Asks, would you bomb someone to have Jeff Hardy back in WWE? No. Honestly, I like seeing him in TNA because it's on his own schedule. It's flexible for him, and creativity. I won't go into it because I've been I've given this answer quite a few times. So. No, I wouldn't. Dolph Ziggler for WH2, which is actually a fan page. TNA or WWE? TNA again. I just gave it a small summary why. De- uh, Devlin B- um, Blevins asks, Hey, what do you think of the Triple H and Brock Lesnar match at SummerSlam? Total crap. It's not because of the storylines, but the... They just had, they just didn't write it up to good build up as he, as most may have seen on Raw last night with the Sean the the Shawn Mike or Michael Hickenbottom line 
that they did at the end was crap because you can obviously see that he was setting himself up to for Lesnar to bring to drag him out of the car. Plus, Sean could have backed his car up, backed his car out, and then drove around like any smart guy would do. And they say, I don't have a brain. No offense to Michaels, just saying. Um, next one is from Eugene as something. Which tag team do is your favorite? Hardy's. No question. Next one is from Deontay Maxi. Yes, what what was the name of the promotion that Y2J wrestled in when he was in Japan? New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm pretty sure that that's the only one that most people go to. If not, then it's another, another promotion that I'm not aware of that I haven't found out about. Next one is from Subair Got Swaggy. Swagger, I mean. Are you really a gentleman? Because last time I checked, swag means, it means she wants a gentleman. Are you one? But anyway. Yes. What? Uh, if Triple H and Stephanie have a nasty divorce before Vince give Hunter the company, what do you think would happen and who would eventually run the company? That's a challenger. It's obviously it's obvious that the man, the person with the pants in the relationship is gonna run the company, but it's most likely both Paul and Steph are gonna be running it together. They're they're married, so why not? Shane is doing his own thing with with his um this video on demand service, but. It, it's all within the family, except for Linda, as you can all see. I won't get into that. Next one is from Mark McVeigh. He asked, "Will WWE sign any other wrestlers leaving TNA, such as Velvet Sky, Matt Morgan, and Ric Flair?" Velvet, not sure. It's been in talks a while ago. It kind of dropped from the from the um from the flow. If you guys noticed, Morgan, it's in the works most likely. Rick. Not until this whole the Senate campaign and the lawsuit that they have going with TNA, so don't expect them to come in anytime soon. Um, next one, let me. I gotta find the next post. Next one is from oh again CJ CJ Jernigan. He says, where is La Parker? What? Who's that? Like, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like an idiot, but who is La Parker? If I sound dumb, then I'll just have to go find, Google it and find it on Wikipedia, most likely. But, whatever. Next one is from Ricky Hunley. He asked, will there ever be, will they ever do TNA vs. WWE? I doubt it. There's no question about it. I doubt it. They won't give us what we want to see. But, like I said, I doubt it. Next, next question. My voice is trying to go out. Tyler asks, or Tyler Zaremba asks, what are your thoughts on AJ becoming the Raw GM? It's a good twist to what we see on a weekly basis. Although, Raw is a three hour show now, it still seems like a two hour show because they practically stretch everything out. But, um, as you noticed last night, they were stalling with Paul Heyman, giving that crap, that promo. And, well, we didn't have a, we didn't have an actual main event. So, she's doing a good job. People may hate her, but I like what she's doing so far. It's a good twist. Um, <clears throat> next one's from John Rumble. He asks, how would you rate AJ and Booker T's performance as the GM of Ron SmackDown? I've already given my my rating of AJ, but I'll just give another. I will give her a 10. Yes, a 10. And as for Booker, seeing that he just started, I will give him a 5 for right now. That's in the middle. Um, 
Now, next one is from Harris Penda, the Triple H Lesnar Clash at SummerSlam. Can you be more specific next time? Can't answer that. John Rumble again asks, which match at SummerSlam are you looking for and to seeing and why? I'm looking forward to almost every match as long as they they write it good and they don't botch it. Because I already know there's going to be a scene car match, so that's going to be a major botch. Next one is from Ian or Ian or Ian, whichever you, however it's pronounced. Goldborn. Do you think Raw and SmackDown will run smoothly despite having two face, two babyface general managers? Yeah, it's better than Ace. That's all I can say. Next one is from Maurice Kane. If you had a chance to become a wrestler, what would your finisher be? I actually, had, it took me a while to ever think about this, but I actually have my own finisher that I have um, perfected since I, even when I was a diehard fan and even though I'm not a diehard fan I would have to choose that my finisher would have to be um and then I forgot what it was um damn I would have to uh let me come back to that one the last one would have is from the same person, it's from a fan page, 